Now for those of you who have difficulty uh, rolling out a pie crust or are just scared by the idea, here's a really simple version of a pie crust that we're going to press into the pan. Um, it's, uh, it's particularly helpful because it uses trans fat free canola oil. Um, it's easy to do and it's delicious. So I'm going to use uh, all purpose flour. We're going to season our pie crust with a little bit of sugar and some salt. And then in goes the canola oil. I have canola oil and a little bit of milk. I'm just going to blend the two of them together. Stir it around a little bit with my finger and in we go. Using a rubber spatula, just toss your ingredients together. We're trying to thoroughly moisten the flour without developing too much elasticity which would make our pie crust tough. Just blend them until they're thoroughly mixed. And you can see I have a nice sort of a crumbly quality to this dough. Since we're not going to roll it out, it's not very important that I have it fully integrated. I'm going to leave it just as it is. Okay. We can have nice little crumbs. If you'd like to get your hands involved, this is a great, a great recipe. And for that matter, it's a great recipe for kids. I think a lot of the time kids are scared by the idea of rolling a pie crust. If it tears, it doesn't really work very well. So this is a great recipe. Now, I'm going to take some of this dough. Just press it into my pan. Again, one of the hallmarks of a pie crust is you want to have a nice uh, tender crust. Now, using canola oil, besides the health benefits of being trans fat free, it gives you a nice even quality, a shortness to the dough, the way that the oil is distributed throughout the whole, all the dough. Makes it very, very tender, so it has a nice quality. When you fill this with a fruit filling or even a custard filling, just pressing the dough up along the sides of the pan. You know, we're going to be filling this with, I think, some apples later on today. And so, I'm not really concerned with the overall look at the bottom because no one's going to see it anyway. If your hands are particularly hot, you may have a little bit of trouble with this. And so you might want to cool your hands by just rinsing them off with a little bit of cold water before you begin. And once the dough has been pressed evenly into the pan, and I'm try not trying to smear it so much as to just press it, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes to chill. We'll flute the edges of it gently and then right into the oven. Now you can see obviously it's not as pretty as a pie crust that I roll out, but it's it's pretty fast and it's pretty good to eat. Okay. I can flute the border of here very, very quickly right now. It's not going to have the same look. It's one that we roll out, but once the filling goes in, no one will be the wiser. There we have it, pat in the pan pie crust.